We're gonna solve a Stanford Math Tournament 2022 problem algebraic problem. We want to consider general view, intuitive thinking, the diagram to have better view. And after that, I will tell you famous inequality, and then we will solve this problem. Let's jump into the problem. If x, y, and z are real numbers such that x squared plus 2y squared plus 3z squared equal to 96 this diagram. What's the maximum possible value of x plus 2y plus 3z, which is this thing? So let's consider the inequality first. How to short inequality is this for three variables, a1 to a3 and 3b1 to b3. It is also correct for n, but here we need 3, so I will explain this. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, all six, all these six variables are real numbers. And A1 squared plus A2 squared plus A3 squared times B1 squared plus B2 squared plus B3 squared is greater than or equal A1, B1 plus A2, B2 plus A3, B3 squared. And for this inequality, equality holds when a1 over b1, this over this, equal to a2 over b2, equal to a3 over b3. Now we want to see how we can relate this inequality, Cauchy Schwartz inequality, one of the most important inequality that is useful from qualifying level up to IMO international level. There are some ideas like this in inequalities in functions around, I can say in inequalities around 10 important things homogenization, something like this, that are useful in Olympiad level and also other math competitions. If you want to know them, comment below or send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. So let's solve this problem. It says find maximum of x plus 2y plus 2, 3z. So here, this function should be in what part of inequality? Because we want to find maximum we should consider he, this. For example, let me explain for you the right side. I say, okay, x plus 2y plus 3z squared is less than or equal. Now, we know this x squared. So one part, I write this, x squared plus 2y squared plus 3z squared. And now I want to find this part. So a1 squared times b1 squared here change to a1 b1. So we product first one of these part. And first one of these, it will be a1 squared b1 squared. And we take square root to reach this. So what times x squared? And after that, you consider a square root will be x1 plus. What times 2y squared? If you product, multiply, and then consider a square root, you will reach 2y exactly 2 because 2 times 2y squared will be 4y squared and if you consider square root it will be 2y then the last part what times 3z squared will be 3z exactly 3 so here because 3 times 3z squared will be 9z squared and you can take square root here and it will be this this is the thing that we want 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 x squared plus 2y squared plus 3z squared by the assumption of the problem is 96. So it will be 6 times 96. I can write 96 as 6 times 16. So if I consider a square root from both sides, x plus 2y plus 3z will be less than or equal 6 times 6. You consider one of them times 16 square root of that will be 4. We have 6 times 6, a square root of that 6. A square root of 16, 4, which will be 24. So the answer, the maximum of this is 24. Now we want to prove that this 24 is reachable, is possible. How we can find that? We should find equality holds when what? When a1 over b1 equal to a2 over b2 equal to a3 over b3. Here a1 is 1. You can also you can write reciprocal of these fractions. b1 over a1 equal to b2 over a2 equal to b3 over a3. So I consider x squared over 1 
x squared over 1 should be equal to 2y squared over 2 should be equal to 3z squared over 3. And if we cancel, we will see, okay, x squared equal to y squared equal to z squared. And here, if we consider, you say, okay, all of them equal to t. So it will be t plus 2t from assumption plus 3t will be what? Will be 90 equal to 96. And then we can say what? t plus 2t, 3t, plus 3t, 6t. So it will be what? 6t. And we can say 6t is 96, so we can say t is equal to what? 96 over 6, 16. Okay, so x squared, each of them 16. Because we want to consider maximum, we consider each of them the positive 1. So x equal to y equal to z equal to 4. So x equal to y equal to z equal to 4. Now, if we replace here, we have 96 x, y, z with 4. And here, if you replace x, y, z with 4, it will be, if you factor from 4, 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 times 4, 24. And we've proved that 24 is reachable. You can use my other videos about Stanford, Harvard, MIT, Olympiad, problems you can click on my playlist and thanks for watching my videos if you've learned something we something new don't forget to subscribe like the video turn on notification and thanks for watching my videos and and thanks for watching my and thanks for your support